Hello and welcome to another episode of Beer Man's Noble Beer Views. Uh, today I have another I have a another drink from Fauna Flora Brewing Company out of Nebo, North Carolina. Um, this one's under their Topsy logo um, because it isn't beer. This is their uh, Topsy Boozy Seltzer. Um, generally, I'm not, I wouldn't review uh, alcoholic seltzers, but considering this is from a brewery, and it's a brewery that I uh, have a lot of um, equity in, not like I'm actually investing in them, but I have a, a lot of uh, faith in them, and I think they do a lot of interesting stuff with beers, so I'd like to try what they do with the, this type of thing, too. Uh, so, I mean, this is the only type of this style that you'll see me doing, like, because Final Four makes it, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna start doing White Claw or Topsy, or, this is Topsy, I'm not gonna start doing White Claw or Truly Reviews or anything like that, but, because this is made by Final Four, I figured I'd give it a whirl, um, just because I know that they understand, uh, flavor profiles and that matters more than anything when it comes to something like this, you know. Because it's not necessarily a hard thing to make, but to make something like easy easy drinking and all that kind of stuff, is that's why I got it. So, but anyways, so they all, all of them say Topsy Boozy uh, Seltzer. I'm not sure how many that they've done. Um, I only bought two of them while I was there. But the one had a yellow label, that was the tea, and the black tea and lemon one, which was actually very good. This one with the pink label is uh, grapefruit, hibiscus, and rose. Um, it says hand zested and fresh squeezed. It is 5.0 ABV, 105 calories, 100% gluten free. So, we crack it open and see what we got. Man, that is a very brisk uh, carbonation. So, pours a, a really nice, um, I mean, that just looks like rose water. If you, I'm assuming if you put rose petals in water, it would probably not look like this. But if you guess what rose water looked like, it would probably be this. It's a very nice pink color. Um... There's no head, but I wouldn't expect there to be for something like this. Um, it pretty carbonated and everything fizzled away really quickly. Oh, man. So. This is reminding me a lot of the other, the other one that they did, the black tea and lemon one, because, uh, like, I, I get a little bit of the grape... Um, the grapefruit. And I guess I, I get like an herbal character from the rose and uh, hibiscus, but it's pretty minimal. But I honestly get like this, um, like blueberry, cranberry funk. Like it, it smells kind of fruity and it has like a, like a nice funk to it. Which that other one I had also had like a funk to it. So I, I, I honestly really wonder if the... It doesn't say it is, but I wonder if these are fermented with like their their house their mixed culture house yeast. That would be absolutely amazing. That's kind of what this smells like. Hmm. So... It doesn't, uh, it doesn't taste like it's fermented with their, their mixed culture house yeast. Uh, one, because it's not, not acidic, and two, because it really doesn't have, like, any funk in the flavor. But it, it does seem like it's fermented with, like, their house saison yeast, like their clean house saison yeast, because it is... 
It kind of has that same general flavor that's almost impossible to, to actually, like, apply it to a flavor for me. But it is so freaking dry. Um, and I, I'm, you know, that's excluding the fact that it's not sweet because I wasn't expecting it to be sweet. But, like, it's so dry as far as you drink it and you get the flavor and then it's gone like that. I mean, it does not linger on the palate at all. It's like you get, you smell it when it's putting, when it's coming to your nose, and you get like a little bit of funk, and you get a little bit of like a musty grape character, which I really don't know what, what is, that's coming from, um, and then you taste it, which is really nice, and then it's just gone, like that, um, I honestly really don't know what hibiscus tastes like, and I'm not sure what rose tastes like. But I will say that I'm not really getting any um, grapefruit out of it. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I still think this is a, like a delicious beverage. And I honestly have not had a White Claw. But now I kind of want to try one, because this and the other hard seltzer that I have from Fauna Flora are honestly just like a mindfuck to me. Um, like, if, if they said they were doing like a rosé petite saison, and this is what it, other than like maybe lacking a little bit of like graininess, I would believe that that's what this is. I mean, this has all the qualities of, like, a really nice, earthy Saison that they make. Sans, like, the the grainy uh, beer character of it. And that's how the other one was, too. The other one was... It had a little bit of, like, house funk to it. Nice uh, black tea lemon character. No sweetness at all. No acidity. Um, but it almost tasted like they made a beer and then like pulled the grain flavor out of it. That's what it kind of tastes like. And this this reminds me of that. Like This reminds me if they made a petite saison an agent on grapes and then somehow pulled out like the grainy flavor of it and just left like the essence of the flavor in it. That's what this tastes like. This It's pretty crazy to be honest i'm not saying it's like the most amazing beverage i've ever had but the it just this itself is just really weird to me i mean i i i don't know i i feel like i have to try the the White Claw crap now. I can imagine that it's like completely awful and gross compared to this, but this is seriously just like I'm, like I said, it's a mind fuck to me. Like, this is like I'm tasting their tiny little bubbles with a little bit of that rose and hibiscus. And then they just pulled out that little bit of graininess from the, the malt, and then that was it. And then it still tastes the same as that. But it's literally just like pink water. I don't know. It's really weird. It's really weird um, in a good way, in an absolute good way. I give them props. This thing is amazing. Um, again, it's not the best beverage I've ever had. But if I, if I wanted to take a break from beer and have something... That was lower carb and just something that I could rock all day. I would absolutely drink this. I don't care what people say. This, it has no booze taste at all. I mean, this just tastes like dry. I, I guess you can tell it's fermented, but I mean, it just tastes like dry seltzer water with stuff in it. I, I don't know. It's just really weird really really weird um 
I feel like to justify how good this is and how good the other one they did is, I might have to do one. I'll just do one White Claw review and compare it because I can't even imagine that it's going to be even close to this because this is very good. Um, and I uh, can't wait to share it with people because they're going to be surprised. This thing is crazy. But... Uh, on my scale of buy, drink, dump, this is definitely a buy. Uh, this can was $2. Um, which, you know, is on the cheaper end for beer. And these guys just did a, a Goza. They did like a mixed culture Fodor Age Goza that's in clear 12 ounce bottles. Which to me is so crazy because no one else has ever done anything like that. And I'm hoping that the fact that it's in those bottles and it's in a four pack that it's pretty cheap because that'll just be amazing and uh, I'm going to buy a crap ton of it but yeah they're they're doing a lot of innovations I really appreciate it and I would definitely buy this again but I think that's all I got in this one please like comment subscribe let me know what you think and I look forward to doing the next one thanks